Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections, and it can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the workflow for assigning a standard T shear connection to beam to column joints and also to beam to girder joints. We will now turn our attention to our RAM Connection standalone application where we'll be designing standard T shear connections for beam column and beam girder joints. For this exercise, let's go ahead and assign a standard T to joint number one. This is a beam column flange joint with a shear reaction. To start our workflow, Select the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, and then click on the Assign icon. Now standard T's are available with the acronym ST, and they are available in both a basic and a smart connection workflow. In the basic connection workflow, you can see that we have a bolted and a welded option, and the same exists in the smart connection workflow. For this exercise, let's go ahead and select a basic connection and we'll go with the welded option. So we'll select ST, weld support, weld beam. Once we're finished, let's click the assign button and we'll see that a shear connection was successfully assigned to this joint. Once the connection is assigned, look in the joint selection area to see the status of the design. Here we can see our interaction ratio is less than 1.0, and it's indicated in green, meaning that no errors or warnings were encountered through the connection design process. If you would like to modify or edit the connection in any way, you can go up to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Edit icon, followed by the Shear Connection option. Here you can see that there's a variety of parameters that you can go ahead and modify within the T window, including the connector information, the connection to the beam, and also your connection to your support. If you would like to review any of the calculations, you click on the results icon to review the report and the formulas. If you would like to access the DXF view, you can click on the DXF tab and see how this would appear in drawing format. If you make any changes in the connection pad, you can go ahead and click on the save icon. Otherwise, you can just close out of the connection pad. Let's go ahead and assign a standard T to a beam girder joint. Let's go ahead and select joint number five in this data set model. This is a beam girder joint with a shear reaction imposed upon it. After selecting the joint, we'll select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and then the assign icon. For this exercise, let's go with a basic connection workflow. And again, we're looking for the acronym ST and we'll select the all bolted option. This will be bolted to the beam and bolted to the supporting member, for this case, the girder. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click on the assign button and then we'll click close. Here we can see that the connection has passed all code checks without any errors or warnings. And again, if we want to review any additional information or modify any of the parameters, we can click on the Edit Shear Connection option. Once we're done, let's go ahead and close out of the connection pad and save our model. Now this concludes the process for assigning a standard T shear connection to both a beam column and a beam girder joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
Thank you, and see you next time.